Hi students, today we are going to discuss a new topic that is the price discrimination or discriminating monopoly. Okay, and we studied about the monopoly in the last uh, session. Now we are going to study about the price discrimination or discriminating monopoly that is the another uh, side of the monopoly. And uh, before we want to know about what we mean by this price discrimination. In the other price discrimination in the bar another. Uh, see some examples where the Indian railway starts low rate for carrying food products compared to other products. And uh, that is the carriage in the Noki Kadinale. Our carriage rate is completely different. Our food items are less rate to charge. You know, and the other goods are higher rate to charge. You know. And the next one is electricity board charges lower rate for agriculture use than the household use. Agriculture use in entity electricity code company they are charging less, but when they when <coughs> they they charge higher for the household use. So another example is there is two prices for different seats in theatre. First can you ticket first class in matter ticket matter rate. The practice of selling product at different prices is known as price discrimination. Either pole and they are not examples of the name. One is other than the different prices will come to the number of the price discrimination. So, the practice of selling products at different prices is known as is known as PD or price discrimination. Next is so there is a definition for this the price discrimination exists when the same product or service is sold at different prices to different buyers. That is, one is the same service, and the other is different buyers. And the practice is the price discrimination. Once again, price discrimination exists when the same product or service is sold at different prices for different buyers. And uh, if price discrimination there is one condition that is, the monopolistic has, has full control over the supply of the product then only he is able to charge different prices and maximize the profit so the main condition of price discrimination is that the monopolistic should have the full control over the supply then only he can charge different prices for different products of or different buyers and also he thereby he can maximize the profit okay next one is what are the various types of price discrimination price discrimination all the first one is personal discrimination that is personal discrimination means in the name itself that is discrimination based on various persons different prices are charged for different customers the the real example is that the in the railway we can see that there is a separate charge for first class ticket separate charge for sleeper separate charge for general compartment etc so this is the uh, price Personal discrimination. In personal discrimination, different prices are charged for different customers. Second one is geographical discrimination. Geographical discrimination means the price varying according to the uh, locality or geographical area. We know that the telephone calls to America cost uh, higher than the telephone cost to Bhutan or telephone cost to uh, Nagaland, etc. Okay, so based on the locality, the price may be changing and use discrimination based on the use of that particular product uh, the firms charge different prices that is different prices according to the use of commodity we know that the cooking gas uh, either charge for the cooking gas for the household is less than the uh, if the cooking gas used for commercial purpose okay the time discrimination in the time discrimination we know that the the price changes according to the time Maybe it's according to the seasonal time or off season, etc. We know that the fan and AC called at low prices in the off season. And age discrimination means the price changes according to the age. We know that the the rate of the price of of service or provided to senior citizen is less than the other people. Okay. Then next is quantity discrimination. We know that when we buy more or when we buy or when we do a bulk purchase we will get more discount than the uh, retail purchase so the price changes with the change in quantity so these are the various type of price discriminations 
ഓരോന്നിൻ്റെയും പേരിൽ തന്നെയുണ്ട് എന്താണ് ഈ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻസ് പേഴ്സണൽ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ വി ക്യാൻ സി ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പ്രൈസസ് ഫോർ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺസ് ജോഗ്രഫിക്കൽ ഡിസ്ക്രിപ്ഷൻ പ്രൈസ് വേരിങ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ലൊക്കാലിറ്റി യൂസ് ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേഷൻ ഡിഫറെൻറ്റ് പ്രൈസസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു യൂസ് ഓഫ് കമോഡിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ടൈം ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേഷൻ മീൻസ് പ്രൈസ് ചേഞ്ചസ് വിത്ത് ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ടൈം ആൻഡ് ഏജ് ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേഷൻ പ്രൈ ചേഞ്ചസ് അക്കോർഡിംഗ് ടു ദ ഏജ് ആൻഡ് ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേഷൻ പ്രൈസ് ചേഞ്ചസ് വിത്ത് ദ ചേഞ്ചസ് ഇൻ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റി നെക്സ്റ്റ് വൺ വാട്ട് ഇസ് ദ ഒബ്ജക്റ്റീവ്സ് ഓഫ് ദിസ് പ്രൈസ് ഡിസ്ക്രിമിനേഷൻ first one to maximize the profit if the monopolist wants to increase the profit by charging or by taking the advantages of uh, selling at a higher price okay so first of all it is to maximize the profit second one to clear the surplus stock if a, a firm has surplus stock he then he will reduce the price and uh, arrange a shopping first like a clearance sale festival or etc so i really le endo cheyno the the objective is to clear the surplus stock and next one to penetrate into a new market so the another objective is that <coughs> to to enter or to penetrate into a new market they first reduce the price and then enter the market after flourishing they will charge uh, they will hike the prices and economies of large scale production we already discussed the uh, price dis- price discrimination based on the use sorry based on the quantity when higher when we buy bulk quantity we will get a reduction so it, the another object is economies of large scale of production to utilize the economies of large scale of production is the another objective of price discrimination and next is to enter into or retain the export market we all already discussed to penetrate into a new market uh, at the same time this price discrimination the other objective is to enter or retain an export market we know that when if we want to flourish in the um, foreign market we want to reduce the price so it's another objective of price discrimination next one is to increase the future market share the market share is increased by by increasing the sales so to increase the sales we will uh, use the price discrimination either by reducing the price okay and uh, because the, the conditions necessary for the price discrimination first one it should have control over the supply the producer must have the control over the supply if they have no control over the supply they will, the, the price discrimination will not exist first one the only the monopoly firm can enjoy this control over the supply and uh, the product has no clause substitute second one is no seepage between different market that means uh, if the product cannot enter from the low price market to the higher price market it is available only in a particular market okay the shift from one market and to another market is not possible and next one elasticity of demand in the uh, if there is inelastic we can charge high price if there is elastic we can charge only low price okay and the government regulation is also sometimes led to price discrimination we know the um, example of ration shop because to uh, as part of the social commitment and poverty eradication the government may reduce the, sell the products at a reduced price okay and the duty and tariff barriers this duty and tariff also affects the price discriminations or also led to price discrimination if there is higher duty of tariff they may charge higher prices and vice versa okay so these are the various conditions of price discrimination next one is the degree of price discrimination actually uh, there are three types of or three degrees of price disc- price uh, discriminations and this discrimination the pri- this degree is based on the how much price they charges in each stages okay so based on this or how, or based on the price charging uh, effect the um, price discrimination is divided into three degrees first one the first degree price discrimination at this stage uh, either either firm charges maximum price each buyer is willing to buy or a buyer kodukkavunna the maximum adhehathil ninnu edukkunnathu aa or stage la first degree price la maximum 
അവരെന്തോ ചെയ്യുന്നു ദേ ആർ ടേക്കിംഗ് ദ മാക്സിമം പ്രൈസ് അവർ സെല്ലിംഗ് എറ്റ് ദ മാക്സിമം പ്രൈസ് ഈസ് ബയർ വില്ലിംഗ് ടു ബൈ and this is also known as perfect price discrimination the other name is known as perfect price discrimination because the 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 maximum exploitation is done in the first degree price discrimination and uh, if the consumer has left with a no consumer surplus okay so the charges will be they, they charges maximum price at uh, each buyer willing to pay in the first degree price discrimination and in the second degree price discrimination we can see first of all they divide the buyers into different groups and charges different prices okay and uh, uh, they are charging the prices of lower level of charging or they are charging at a lower price <coughs> each every or everyone can pay that is happening in the second degree price distribution ഫസ്റ്റ് ഡിഗ്രി പ്രൈസ് ഡിസ്ക്രിമിഷനിൽ ഒരു കസ്റ്റമറിൽ നിന്ന് മാക്സിമം ചാർജ് ചെയ്യുന്നു സെക്കൻഡ് ഡിഗ്രി ഫസ്റ്റ് പ്രൈസ് ഡിസ്ക്രിമിഷനിൽ കസ്റ്റമേഴ്സിനെ പല ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ആയിട്ട് തിരിച്ചിട്ട് അവർക്ക് ചാർ ഒരു അവരുടെ ലോവർ ലിമിറ്റ് നമ്മൾ മേടിക്കുന്നു ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് തേർഡ് ഡിഗ്രി പ്രൈസ് ഡിസ്ക്രിമിഷൻ ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് എൻ്റർ മാർക്കറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിവൈഡഡ് ഇൻ ടു ഫ്യൂ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് സെക്കൻഡ് ഡിഗ്രിയിലെ ബയേഴ്സിനെയാണ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ചെയ്യുന്നതെങ്കിൽ തേർഡ് ഡിഗ്രിയിൽ എൻ്റെ മാർക്കറ്റ് ഈസ് ഡിവൈഡ് ഇൻ ഫ്യൂ ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഓൾസോ നോൺ ആസ് മാർക്കറ്റ് സെഗ്മെൻറ്റേഷൻ ആൻഡ് um the product that sold in one market cannot be sold in another market that is the um, mm, <clears throat> conditions while dividing the markets into few groups that is one, if a product is sold in one market cannot be sold in another market and the and these mm, sub markets or or a particular price is a fixed price is charged for each market segments okay so these are the three degrees of price discrimination okay in the first degree they are over exploit or maximum exploitation second level lower level of charging third also lower level of charging second group second degree they are dividing the buyers into various group but in the third degree they are dividing the market into various groups okay how the price is determined under the price discrimination okay first of all discriminating monopolistic charges different prices in the different market actually what is happening in the price discrimination is that either discriminating monopolistic charges different prices in different markets if they charge uh, uh, 5 rupees in one market they charge 10 rupees in another market okay so the price price discrimination the different prices is charged in different markets so here also for understanding the price discrimination under the price price discrimination we divided the market into two and so you can see the three graph here the first graph is of sub market a and second graph is of sub market b and third is of combined of a and b okay then here also for for the price discrimination we use the principle mc is equal to mr principle okay and uh, here the elasticity of price elasticity of demand is higher in the um, market b so we can say that when the elasticity is higher we cannot charge much price so here uh, we can charge uh, higher prices in the market a because the elasticity is less in the market a okay elasticity kodunna anusarichu namukku price adhigam charge cheyanayittu pattathilla so adondu market a il elasticity koravana adondu thanne namukku we can charge higher price in the market a and uh, another thing is that here we can see the amr curve amr curve means uh, <coughs> marginal revenue curve average man, marginal revenue curve and it is the combined of uh, market a and market b so the total amount of outputs that can be sold in a and b together okay so this is the om is the total output that can be sold in market a and market b okay and uh, mc is equal in this mc is the marginal cost curve it is the total output product, output of the product and uh, pro- profit is maximum at the level the e because at that point mc is equal to 
M R and uh, we can see that this M C cuts the M R curve from the below. So this is the maximum profit level. Okay, then we can see that the O M level of output. This output is the total output which can be sold in the market A and market B. How is this is determined? Because this is determined at the point where MC intersects MR curve from the below. Okay, so we first fixed the total output that can be sold in the sub market. Okay, again, you have a contribution one slide. Number MC curve, MR curve intersecting in E. So E point will which so, that is OM quantity of output that we will come to this OM quantity of output that we will come to this market and next is dividing the total output between the AB and sorry A and market B and next is total output between the AB and sorry A and market B that is M R and this M E अदा इधर ओरे मार्केट ले फर्स्ट मार्केट लेते मात्रा में विलकरण में ना देरी मानी की ना दे ये बड़ा ई एम ई लेना ना हमलोग एक स्ट्रेट लाइन वाले चु ई स्ट्रेट लाइन है एम आर कर्व विल इंडेक्सेक्टेड जी इन्दर दे एवर डॉ जानो अतरे इम प्रोडक्ट्स ना हमें कंदे एम वी कैन सॉल्ट इन वी कैन सेल इन द Intersecting point M R le intersect je diri kena E one ni larn, adve bola ni E one E two ni larn. Okay. So apa itrain products? I pa sub market A le, nama kita itrain products will kena itu sahdi kum. Sub market B le, nama kita O M two products will kena itu sahdi kum. So O M one and O M two. Okay. Ina tu mungkin apa? Ada itu, nama le adi nama le, itu matram quantity kelan पॉइंट तो हमले कांडे बिटिचो ये वड़ा वैसा नो एमसी का मार्क का इंडेसेक्टेड इन द आ पॉइंट इलिन द हमला नेट हमले टोटल कांडेटी कांडे बिटिचो दैट इस ओएम ई ओएम कांडेटी नमके रेंड मार्केट लाइट विल का नोला गाना ई रेंड मार्केट ले कोल्ला साधने गल ऐगे ना एलोटी ने आदिम ईल इन द स्ट्रेट लाइन will connect so that is the one that is the E1 and the E2 mana point so that is the OM quantity output that is the one that is connected to A and the OM2 B will connect to that and we can see that price is OK here is the OP2 and the OP1 we can see that the OP1 is higher than the OP2 ok because the due to the lower elasticity of demand in the B. So lower elasticity I do want to the item could the price level will come to them already first to two hundred a slide in part new we can charge higher price in the market a because there is higher elasticity of demand and uh, we can see that for the equilibrium conditions there are two conditions we already know that that is MC should be equal to Emma and uh, this M R A and M R B this M R A M R B should be equal to M C. Okay, you know, okay, if it is same like E in the point on a random one to point another E M R E M R E line it on a very no. So we can say that a dotted line sit on a random in the other again the cut either again. I don't we can say that M R A is equal to M R B is equal to the MC. Okay, so these are the two equilibrium conditions. And uh, there is an assignment for you that is, you want to prepare a video on following topic that is, is price discrimination beneficial to society? And you must upload in YouTube or any other uh, any other um, points and you want to submit the link. Okay, so this is the you want to submit the link in the Google Classroom. So this is your assignment. And so, this is the price discrimination. If you want to read the text, you want to read the text very well. And this may ask in the section B, that is for 5 marks, you want to, actually the graph is not in our syllabus. 
or only we want to know about the what you mean by price discrimination conditions of price discrimination and various degrees of price discrimination and objectives of price discrimination but and this is for your additional knowledge you want to study the graph also and you want to prepare and this assignment if you have any doubts you can ask either in reason sometimes at gmail.com or you can raise the questions when we and when i come in the live okay thank you